a best-selling author, theater director, playwright, journalist, and artistic director, Tuvia Tenenbaum has managed to capture the hearts and minds of people across the globe. Following his first two international best-selling exposés, I Sleep in Hitler's Bedroom and Catch the Jew, he set out again to investigate race relations in the United States and the generosity of the Germans to refugees. And today he's joining us in the studio with all the details. Hello, refugees. This is your latest book. It's the latest book, yeah. Latest book, and it sounds like a very fitting title, um, given what the headlines and the news are exactly. lately, right? So tell us what this book is about, and then I see you have another book in front yeah. of you, so we'll talk about that as so well. So first of all, thank you, Natasha, so much for having me. Thank you, ILTV, for having me. And thank you, listeners. Come on, you got to yeah. tell us what this is about. Because this, is this, about, this is about a lot of refugees, as the title shows you. Mm -hmm. It's about the refugees uh, of our day and time. The, the, the almost probably the, one of the most political issues, at potatoes of our time. Right. And this is the refugees so coming from the Middle East, Syria, Iraq, Iran sometimes also, uh, Afghanistan and Africa coming today to Europe. Right. you know, swarming into Europe. And Germany is the country that has accepted the most. more refugees than anybody else in Europe. Which than is European very interesting country. given Iran, its history. Iran, a million and a half. So the question was, why is Germany doing this? Why is Germany taking more than anybody mm -hmm. else? And why are the refugees coming to Germany? And the other question is, how do the refugees feel once they have landed in Germany? Once they have arrived in Germany, not landed, you know, because they come, and what does he feel, and how are they treated? So this is the. So what did you book. find? Give us a give so us. So this some is the book, basically the, the book, like all the other books, you know, they are originated by my German publishers, who they, they are commissioning the books, all these books, and the finding is this book was everything I didn't believe it, and ev everything and anything I did not expect. Give you know, us an when example. you see on TV and you see the pictures on TV and on German TV and on European TV and. On, Basically, on all TVs, mm -hmm. you see, you saw, yeah, when, when the refugees came to Germany and teenagers and grandma and grandpas, you know, welcomed them with teddy bears and everybody loved the refugees and, and it looked like so nice. So I said to myself, how do the refugees feel now after the teddy bear? The only way to find out is to travel to the refugee camps, to enter the refugee camps. Within Germany, yeah. In Germany. And, but there is a problem. The authorities, the security, there are security gates in front of those camps, especially the big ones, mm -hmm. and you cannot go in. Yeah, most so what I did, I waited for the for some of the refugees to come down or to get out a little bit, you know, they just like to have a fresh air or something we call it, and the Arab ones, and I start talking to them. I speak Arabic, my wife speaks Arabic, and to see me the way I look speaking Arabic, you know, they're very very excited to see. A German, <laughs> you know, <laughs> talking right, in course. their in their language, you know, and so we became very, f very fast. We became friends, you know. If you know the culture, you can do that. In the Middle Eastern cultures, we became friends, and then we devised the system. I told them I am journalist, and then I said to them, "Listen, would you mind going to the guards and tell the guards that I am the uncle from Aleppo?" And this is my wife. And the younger ones, I said, these are our children. Would you mind to tell them? And we have come especially to visit you. And right it, worked. it clearly Berlin. worked because this and, is a, a pretty And it thick clearly book worked, you know, here. and the, 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 the security couldn't do anything. In, and, and it's politically incorrect for the security, uh -huh. you know, for German politically correct people to say to you, hey, you don't look exactly Arab. You can say that because we are all equal. We all look the same, you know, that's the, the philosophy. Well, I, what I so, want to know is, you said that And then we go inside, and I saw what happened. And when I saw what happened there, it was frightening. It looked like, more like concentration camp than anything else. The food, miserable. You can hardly breathe. No air condition to speak of. No fence with 84 degrees, 90 degrees mm -hmm. outside. They put them in little rooms, you know, 10 to 12 people in a room with bunks. They mixed everybody. The Christians, the Yazidis, the, 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 the Sunnis and the Shias, and just imagine, you know, way back there, they killed each other, they raped each other. And now they are in the same room. Guess what happens at night? At night they start fighting. And when they fight, the knives come out. And some refugees showed me. 
So this is, Flashed. I mean, this is part of it. I, you, I don't and want you to give it all away, no, but, but I'm going to capture my attention. And the way they treat them over there, the authorities, the German authorities, the food, I only give to dogs what they give. I tasted it. The food, people have the viruses and bacteria all over. You see some of them with the skin color is different here and here. And right the point the is that the people who present themselves as lovers of humanity, you know, we are progressively world. We believe, bring more refugees because we, are, because we are all the same. We love the refugees. You know, refugee welcome culture. And by the end of the day, when the TV cameras are off, this is when what's nobody happening. sees what's happening in camp after camp after camp, and they scream there, in each camp, please take me out of here. People scream. All right, well, Tuvia, we've run out of time, unfortunately, but I really think that you, you left us all wanting to read uh, your latest book. Um, you, uh, like and I said before, have book. many bestsellers. There's another one, The Lies They Tell, for those of you who didn't see the book. This is about right America. Tuvia. This is about America and what happens in America. Exactly. Jews in America, blacks in America, and all Exactly, so check it out. You can find these books. Um, all over the internet, also in bookstores here in Israel. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.